I recently read a book called The Motivation Myth by Jeff Hader, and I absolutely love the way he puts the way that we see motivation. He talks about motivation as something we feel should be a spark that ignites continued work and effort, as though motivation is like a magical, you know, a magical lighter that lights up our desire to do hard things and carry on doing them. I found that so fascinating because I think that's exactly what that's exactly what most of us feel is if I could just have motivation, it would make doing the stuff I don't really want to do a lot easier. It's valuable to realize that what we're doing is looking to make something that we can actually do easier. We don't want to do it because it's not easy and we're looking for a way out. We're looking for something simple and the simplest, one of the simplest things is um, if I feel like doing it, if it makes me feel good, then it's a lot easier to do. I want you to think about that when you're feeling like you're lacking motivation. It's fine to lack motivation. The problem is when we allow the lack of motivation to impact our actions. I'm not motivated and therefore I don't do the work. That's when motivation becomes a problem for us, is when it impacts our actions. Uh, and we can't always find, we can't always find that motivation. How do you stay motivated to study something that takes three, four, five years of constant sacrifice, late nights, early mornings, time, money? You really think you can stay motivated in the sense that you want to keep doing this? I don't think so. <laughs> you know, absolutely not. The danger is are we hoping that motivation is the spark that's going to make doing the tough things and making those sacrifices easier and we're waiting for that spark before we actually do something?